Here's five ways to use this flat five note. The E flat when playing over a 12 bar blues that's in A7. Um, I'm going to show you one way at a time and explain to you what I'm doing. The first way is this. When the A7's coming around, you play this flat five as part of of your licks for that go over top that A7. On the other two chords, you don't play that note. Simple as can be. Here you go, first example. Second, we're going to use it on the D7 chord. Now, but not on the other two chords. we're going to use it on only the E7. Way number three, I want to stop the track to explain to you. When you when I approach a 12 bar blues, there's really only two parts to it. There's the main sound, the one chord, and whatever else happens, whether it be everything else that happens besides the one chord is something else. So what I do, what I like to do is for the one chord, play one thing, and for the everything else, play the something else. So in this case, the something else is going to be using that flat five. For the one chord, I'm gonna play whatever I want. And then for the other two chords, I'm gonna make sure. I get that flat five in there. So here goes that example. idea how to use this flat five is sort of simplistic and um, I don't know if it'll make any sense to you but I'm going to explain it anyway what you do is when you're going to D7 you use this as your half step movement to get you to that root note and when you're going to E7 you use the ascending version of that half step to get you to the E tonic so it might go something like this Thank you.
ideas for you what to do with that flat five I think actually the number of ideas is infinite but maybe that's a beginning for you play on have a great day